and we shall be judged by the Lord, listen to me now, with the same attitudes and intensity that we exercised as we sat in judgment of others. Ooh. That makes that day even worse. Because that day, as the Lord Jesus Christ sits upon the white judgment throne, listen to me, he will briefly become us. Oh my goodness. The God of all creation has told us with his own lips, with his own, this isn't something Paul passed on to us. This isn't something Peter passed on to us or Mark or John. This is something the Lord himself told us in Matthew 7, 1 through 5. He said, judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, the beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. The Lord said, Judge not that ye be not judged. You see, the sad thing a lot of believers fail to realize is we actually have the opportunity, and most of us have missed the opportunity already, so there's no sense even worrying about it. But for every born-again believer who comes to the Lord this afternoon and starts their walk with God immediately after this message, listen, I got news for you. You have the opportunity on Judgment Day to walk past the throne and have the Lord simply say, Welcome home. No judgment for you. Mm -hmm.